main memory primary memory is the main memory of the computer it is a chip mounted on the motherboard of a computer primary memory holds only those data and the instructions on which computer is currently working it is limited capacity and the data get lost when the power is switched off or the computer is shut down it is generally made up of semiconductor devices these memories are not as fast as register the data and the instruction required to be processed earlier reside in the main memory now the characteristic of the what is the characteristic of the primary memory so you these are semiconductor memory usually this is a volatile memory why because the main memory are ram and rom rom is non volatile and ram is volatile that is why usually non volatile memory that means data is lost in case the power is switched off now we move to the next slide primary memory is categorized into two main types one read only memory and another is random access memory read only memory rom is read only memory this memory cannot be changed and it can only be read as required since rom is unchangeable memory it is used by data and programs that are frequently required and seldom changed like the system boot program there are different kinds of rom retain their content when the power is turned off we use rom in washing machine instrument cluster microwave tv remote etc read only memory is categorized into three main types programmable rom p rom erasable programmable rom ep rom and electrically erasable programmable rom eep rom now p rom programmable read only memory p rom can be programmed with a special tool that is p rom burner but after it has been programmed the content cannot be changed for this reason p rom is also referred to as otp one time programmable next come to the ep rom a uh, ep rom that is erasable and programmable rom is programmed is exactly the same manner as the p rom to erase an ep rom you simplify expose the device to a strong source of a ultraviolet light ep rom can be programmed in similar way as p rom but it can be erased by exposing it to the ultraviolet light for 10 minutes or longer and reprogrammed ep rom chips have to be removed from the computer for rewriting now double ep rom electrically erasable and programmable rom they are similar to ep rom but the erase operation is accomplished electrically rather than by expose to the ultraviolet light once retain the new data will remain in the devices forever or at least until the until it electrically erase like other rom it retains its memory even if the power is switched off next 
come to our next slide that is random access memory ram is used to store data and instruction during the operation of computer the data and the instruction that need to be operated upon by the cpu are the first brought into ram from the secondary storage devices like hard disk cpu interacts with ram to get the data and the instruction for processing it stores temporary data of currently running applications and play vital role in the computer operation the size of the ram limited due to its high cost the size of the ram is measured in mb that is megabyte or in gb is gigabyte it is volatile memory that is the data vanish or data is erased when the power supply is cut off now there are two categories of ram depending on the technology used to construct a ram sram and dram sram stand for static random access memory and dram stands for dynamic random access memory sram stores information with the help of transistor sram does not use capacitor so it need not refresh sram provides faster speed of the data read write sram consume more power sram also has long data life Uh, sram is also expensive where is dram used to store the data by using capacitors in dram contents of the capacitor need to be refreshed periodically dram provides slower slower speed of data read write and dram consumes more power sorry dram consume less power than the sram now we move to the next slide that is secondary storage devices in the previous slide we saw that ram is expensive and has a limited storage capacity since it is a volatile memory and it cannot retain information after the computer is power off thus in addition to primary memory and auxiliary memory or secondary memory is required by the computer the secondary memory is also called the storage device of the computer 